why people are fake people are fake because it pays it is a good policy if you are true you will always be in danger you can be true only if you are living in a society that is true and where truth is respected we talk about truth but it is not loved society exists in lies here truth is not respected truth is always crucified killed and lies are thrown that is why policies become so important in the world because the word policy and politics come from the same root and it is a game of lies we make a policy we say honesty is the best policy policy keeps on changing according to the time circumstance and situation if honesty becomes your quality then it is a totally different thing it is an aspect of truth honesty is a quality of an individual that and it will not change because of circumstances and situations it will always remain the same the whole society the whole politics is based on lies and if you live with those liars you will have to live with this falsehood all around you you have to be fake or you cut off yourself from the society it pays it is economical it is safe it protects you otherwise people will be against you if you are true they are all living through lies they cannot tolerate you i have given you an example of a sufi one day it happened he had a vision that devil says he is going to poison all the water and whosoever will drink that water will become mad so collect as much water as you can and it so happened he started drinking the water that he had collected everyone who drank the water became mad when you are living in a society where everyone thinks in a particular way and if your thinking is different then those you are considered a mad so it happened everyone thought that the sufi has gone mad because he is speaking a language which is not understood by any one of the people the news was that he will be captured and put in the prison unless he changes he becomes sane so he told the people give me a few hours and i will cure myself he went and he drank the water from the well that everyone was drinking and he became one like him if you are living in a society this is what happens unless you create your own society your own communion that you are living your way then slowly and slowly people exclude you from them any time when i used to go to any function they will exclude me they will come and wish and then go on their own way because they know in parties they have a different kind of environment and wherever i go a grace an environment and energy field goes so they are afraid of that they will not bother me and i am happy that those social functions i have to go i just finish my job and come back from the very beginning a child starts learning that lies pays if child tells the truth he is beaten if child tells the truth it creates a kind of embarrassment for the parents if the child is being truthful nobody 
is for him everyone goes against him if he is lying then he can protect himself lie becomes a kind of an umbrella that protects you from sunshine and rain and if he is lying in tune with the parents lies then there is no problem at all he can exist very smoothly and children are very perceptive and sensitive they learn what server they see around i have heard an art collector decided to decided upon the art collector just happened to see a painting that was bearing the signature of picasso he purchased it immediately hoping that it would be it would prove to be valuable but a nagging doubt about the possibility of its being a forgery compelled him to seek out picasso's home he went there after much waiting he finally gained an appointment with picasso and he showed him the painting it is fake replied the great painter and slammed door shut the collector was crestfallen and determined not to be taken in a game however some time later he came across a different painting also bearing the signature picasso he carefully researched the history of this painting and purchased it only after fully documenting its authenticity however even with legal proof that it was a genuine picasso he still felt a twinge of doubt and resolved to satisfy his doubt again by visiting picasso when he finally gained a moment of picasso's time the great painter took one look at the painting and said it is fake but picasso pleaded the art collector i researched this painting thoroughly i can prove that you yourself painted it to this picasso replied i often paint fakes i often paint fakes it happens even painters start learning what sells not all picasso's paintings are original more of them are fake although they have been painted by him alone then what does he mean by saying that it is fake he is simply saying that he is just copying it from other paintings it is not original it is a copy it does not matter who is copying somebody else or picasso himself it almost always happens when a person gets a nobel prize he never produces anything original afterwards he goes on repeating his old stories in new ways because he has paid so much he is stuck he thinks it sells so because he goes on writing the same thing again and again it has never happened up to now after getting a nobel prize a poet or a novelist has been able to do anything original again the nobel prize is a kind of a death knell the person is finished because now he knows what pays now he has found the secret of success now he has the key so why bother about trying other keys and besides that this is the highest honor the blossoming the flowering has come after that why to create anything else of that nature it may not be so beautiful why bother about other directions and dimensions of creativity he knows the right way to do it so one goes on doing the right thing again and again and it becomes fake people are false 
because they have found a key. They know what makes life secure, comfortable, convenient, safe. Although convenience, comfort, safety, security do not bring any kind of blessing, they bring all kind of miseries. They do not bring any happiness in life. Happiness comes only through being original. Unless you discover your original face, you will not be blessed. But to have your original face, you have to pass through many inconveniences, discomforts. The path is arduous. Keep it in mind that whenever you face a choice between convenience and joy, always choose joy. Otherwise you will become fake. Whenever you have a choice between comfort and some adventure, choose adventure. Howsoever arduous it may be, otherwise you will become a fake. Whenever you have a choice between security and insecurity, let insecurity be your love. Never choose the secured path. Security makes people dead and dull. There is no awareness. A perfectly secure person is already in his grief. He is no longer alive. If you are alive, there is bound to be insecurity. The more alive, the more insecure. A really totally alive person lives moment to moment in insecurity. He does not know what is going to happen the next moment. But then there is a great thrill and he is always on the verge of the unknown and he is always moving into something mysterious. Mysterious is never secure. It cannot be. Do not depend on bank balance. Do not depend on marriage. Do not depend on comfortable and well-paying jobs. Do not depend on family, society and estates. There is a beautiful Sufi story of Mawjood. Mawjood means one who is present. I will tell, I will narrate this story in the next session. You can see people around you, how dead they are, how dragging is their life, how sad are their eyes, not a single song is there in the heart and you will never feel any dance in their feet, it is impossible. You can go on searching in their life and you will find desert and more desert, not a single oasis. Love does not blossom, celebration they have not known. I have heard an Indian died. He was very religious, ritualistic, formal. He had been doing all kinds of things that the scriptures commanded. So he was very, very certain of reaching paradise. When he reached there, he looked through the door and he was surprised. Paradise looked almost like India, no difference, none at all. So he asked the angel standing at the gate, what is the matter? It looks almost like India. I do not see any difference. Paradise looks almost like our land, our country. And the man standing at the door said, what are you talking about? And why are you, why do you go on bowing to me? This is not paradise. I am not an angel. This story is beautiful. It is hell. The man is standing on the door is not an angel but the devil. But hell will look like India. Hell will look like anything that you have become accustomed to. If you are a German, then hell will look like Germany. If you are a Japanese, 
then you will enter the Japanese hell. Hell is that which you know. Meditate over it. Hell is that which you are acquainted with. Hell is the past, the known, the well-trodden path. Heaven is something unknown, something that you cannot compare with your past, cannot compare with your experience. There is no comparison whatsoever. It is utterly new, utterly, absolutely it is a discontinuity. You have never known anything like this before. But if you live a life of comfort and convenience, rituals and formality and lies, you will live a fake life, a pseudo one. You live in hell. And you will be living in hell in future too. You are creating it all around you. Shake yourself up and get out of your dull, dead, dead so-called life. Start living again. Living moment to moment is like living in insecurity. And do not think about what pays. It is always the wrong thing that pays in this world. The right never pays because there is no more people who can pay for the right things. If you do something wrong, you will be paid very much. Just think a poet is not paid, but a general of the army is paid. A general is doing the wrong thing, killing people. In a way, he is a murderer. A soldier is paid not a painter. Those who bring death into the world, they are paid. The army people are well paid people. They are butchers and murderers. But they are most well paid, well fed because they are securing the life for you all, making it comfortable. They live in good houses, have all kind of facilities, Look at the poet who goes on singing songs of love. He lives like a beggar. Mirza Ghalib lived in abject poverty. Now after he is no more, there is many things, art galleries, stamps, many things are being created in his name. He never had the money all through his life he borrowed and that borrowings were never paid and he only did the work of writing the poetry. That's why Sufis emphasize that whatever vocation you are in, you make your living and unless you are able to make your own living, how meager it might be, how difficult it might be, but only then you can feel a kind of bliss, harmony and oneness within. The world is so wrong. The politicians are highly paid, respected. Newspapers are continuously full of their news. Have you seen anything else other than politics in the newspaper? And there are most mischievous people in the world. Dr. Samuel Johnson, who compiled the first English dictionary in 17th century, said politics is the last refuge of his scoundrels. Remember, if you think in terms of payments, you will be fake. If you want to be paid in this world with comfort, luxury, you will be fake. If you really want to be alive, then do not bother whether it pays or not. If it pays, good. If it does not pay, even good. But then you will be living a life of great enrichment. You may not be rich, but your life will be enriched. You may not have fame, but you will have joy. You may not be known into the world, but you will be known 
to God and that is all that is worth anything else. And I am not saying that you all have to carry your corpse on your shoulders continuously. No, I am not saying that. I never demand the impossible. When you live with false people, there is no need to create unnecessary conflict either. Avoid. Go on searching for your life, your original face. But there is no need to be in conflict every day, every moment. Otherwise it becomes a problem an unnecessary waste of energy. Follow the rules of ordinary life just as one follows the rules of game. Follow the rules on the roads they say keep to the left or keep to the right. So you follow that. It is nothing of any importance Follow the rules of traffic in the country that you are living. That is perfectly okay. But always know that it is nothing fundamental. It has nothing to do with truth. It is just a convenience. And when there are so many people, you need not create inconvenience for others by driving on the other side. You are at freedom to create all kinds of inconveniences for yourself. That is your freedom. But you need not create inconveniences for others. Keep it in mind, when you are moving in the world, move with the people. There is no need to carry your cross. There is no need to go on shouting loudly that you are a Jesus or a Mansur, there is no need. Follow the rules of game and remember it is just a game. But remember always that the game should not become your whole life. That is all I would like you to remember. That is why I do not want you to come out of the society, be in the world, but do not let the world be inside you. You can leave the world, but then you will be leaving many opportunities of growth. You can go to a solitary place in a cave and sit there. Of course, there will be no need to lie because there is no one to lie to, no one to talk to, no one to relate to. You will be alone in the cave. You will be perfectly true. You can have your original face, but then you do not have any opportunity as challenge to provoke you into growth. You are out of life and only in life you can grow. Only in adversities you grow. Live in adversities so that your growth becomes a continuous process. Life is a great opportunity. In the caves you will be secluded, all alone, dull and dead. You will again become dead because you will not have any possibility of responding. Yes, you will not be telling any untruth, but to whom are you going to say the truth? You will not be angry, right? But you will not be loving either. So this is something meaningless. Anger is dropped, but love also disappears. So the old kind of seclusion becomes very cold. They do not have any anger, a good thing, but they do not have any love either. And that cannot be praised. It is as if a person was afraid of illness, so he committed suicide. Now he will never be ill, that is true, but he will never be alive either. This is throwing the baby out of the bath water. I am not supporting this. But this is what has been happening. I give you the golden mean. Live in the world. 
but do not be of the world. You will need to be very, very alert, more alert, more aware than Buddha's disciples. They did not need to be alert. They could go to sleep in their caves. You will have to be very, very alert. You have to keep two watches, one for rehearsals only and the other for the real one for yourself. You have to become a great actor, but when you act consciously, you are not fake. Remember this, when you are acting consciously, when I am interacting with the family, the wife, the children, the business people and all that, it is like I am going for my stage performance because I am a stage artist. Every day I have to go and perform and that is the way I make my living. But when the stage show is over after two hours, I come back and have my personal life. You will become, you will have to become a great actor. But when you act consciously, you are not fake. When a conscious act is there and you know that it is just an act, then it is not going to destroy your life. But when you forget that this is an act and you become identified with it, then you become worldly. Now, when you watch television, shows are a great spiritual way of learning. You are watching a stage show, the so-called serials. You are involved in the serial, what is going to happen next. But all these actors, they know what is in the next script. That a person is acting on the stage that lost the memory. Has she really lost the memory? No, she is simply acting. She may go on acting in that way as long as the script requires, as long as they can drag the serial and they are not affected. Why should an audience be affected by it? If an actor on the stage dies, it is only the actor that has died, not the real person who is doing that acting. So you become that. If you become identified with the act, you are worldly. If you are watching the shows, if you are going to work, coming from the work, engaging in all kind of activities that are there in the office as a part of your work, and consciously you are aware that you are acting, there is no problem. You are maintaining your original face and you are not in the world. My definition is different. The worldly person is one who gets into the act, becomes unconscious and forgets that this is an act and he is simply acting. It is as if you are playing on the stage, acting some rules, some roles. For example, you are in a stage show and playing the role of a Jesus of Pontius Pilate and you forget that this is a role and when the curtain falls and you come out home, you come as Pontius Pilate or Jesus Christ, then you will be in trouble. But as long as you are acting on the stage doing your best, your role will be recognized and you in the next stage show your role can be upgraded. It has happened sometimes. Once it happened to an actor who was playing Abraham Lincoln continuously for one year around in the United States. Every day the party traveled from one town to another and he was Abraham Lincoln. One year is long, he got mixed up. 
After one year he forgot his real identity, who he was, and he started saying that he was Abraham Lincoln. At first people thought he was joking, but then it became serious. He came home, but he came as Abraham Lincoln. His wife tried to persuade him to get out of his room. His father tried to convince him that he was not Abraham Lincoln. But he would not listen and he would not wear ordinary clothes either. He would wear the clothes that has been wearing on the stage. And he would walk like Abraham. He would shudder like him. And his face had also become like Abraham's. For one year he was pretending and pretending and pretending. It became so difficult that they had to bring him to a psychiatrist. The psychiatrist tried very hard from one direction to another, but he would not say anything except excerpts. What are you saying? Have you gone mad? Have you gone mad? I am Abraham Lincoln. There was no way. They have a lie detector machine in America which they use in courts. The person concerned stands, stands on the mechanism unaware that there is a machine underneath. It is like a cardiogram. It makes the graph of your heart beats. So all these things were tried on him standing on the light detector they asked him different questions and he answered they came to the real question they asked are you Abraham Lincoln he said no and the detector said he was lying he had got so much in tune with the ideas that his deepest core he knew that he was Abraham Lincoln now just on the surface he was lying. If this happens, then you are a worldly man. That is my definition of the worldly person. When who gets into the act and forgets to come out. When who remains hooked there. That is the worldly man. Hazrat Ubaidullah Arar Razi was a king. He has to manage the kingdom. And after he had finished the job as a king, that the role that he was performing, he come back to his solitary retreat where he is no more a king. Instead, he is simply the sheikh, the Nakshbandi master. When he comes home, if he starts playing being the husband and the father and the wife, they are all games. Play beautiful play artistically, play aesthetically, but there is no need to get hooked that you are a father, that you are a mother, you are this and that, or you are a doctor, you are an engineer, or this and that, these are the functions that you are performing. You are treating a patient, be in the role of being a doctor, but when other is no more a patient, you are sitting alone in your room, there is no need to be a doctor. Otherwise, you are doing the same stupid thing as that man who became Abraham Lincoln. This is of Im immense importance. If you live in the world in a worldly way, you will become dead. If you if he becomes an old traditional kind of disciple, he shrinks and he becomes dead. Both are the ways of death. Life is where the opposites meet. Life is where day and night meet. Life is where world and the yet only for those who can remain beyond it. Be a lotus flower. Be in the water and yet remain untouched by it. That is the way of a seeker. That is the way 
you need to be.